what happens when you add the numbers 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth and so on. What do you think? Will this be finite or not? This series is called the harmonic series. You will encounter the answer by the end of this video. Let us review the test for divergence for a moment that said that if the terms uh, of a series do not tend to zero, then the series diverges. And do not forget the warning sign. If the terms do tend to zero, then the sum can either be convergent or divergent. I don't know. Test is inconclusive. Let us see whether we can apply this test to an example. So we have our uh, series n squared divided by 5n squared plus 4. It's not a geometric series, not telescoping or whatever. So uh, we really have to do some work here. Uh, let's try to apply the test for divergence. What happens if we, uh, with the terms if we let uh, small n tend to infinity, so we compute this limit over here. We can divide by the highest power, then we get a, a 1 divided by 5 plus 4 over n squared, and then we can use the quotient of the sum rule, and we get 1 over 5. So we see that terms do not tend to zero, and we can use the test for divergence to conclude that our series is divergent. Intuitively, that's clear, because we start with some terms, first sum of the first 100 terms or whatever is always finite, and then eventually we start to add 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 infinitely many terms, times, so that will blow up. So, okay. So far, so good. Now we're going to look at the uh, harmonic series, which is the sum n from 1 to infinity 1 over n. We see that uh, if you take the limit n to infinity of 1 over n, we get 0. So what can we conclude about the uh, harmonic series? Well, terms go to 0, so you would expect it to converge or not. Well, the test for divergence actually says it can be convergent or divergent. Inconclusive to, up to this point, we don't know. Test of divergence doesn't tell us. And we can actually deduce what's happening as follows. Let's write down the first few terms. Uh, so 1 over n, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 over 3, etc. Then I know the 1 is bigger or equal than 1 half. 1 half bigger or equal than 1 half. Then we do the following trick. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. 1 over 3 is bigger than 1 over 4. So 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 is bigger than 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is also bigger than 1 half. Then we add the next four terms. 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8. They are all bigger than 1 over 8, so they are bigger together than 4 over 8. So they are, those are also bigger than 1 half. And we can go on like this. So we add uh, stuff which is always bigger than 1 over, half, 1 over 2. Uh, we do that infinitely many times. So our series is going to blow up. The series, in fact, divergence. So even though the, sum, the, the terms tend to zero, the sum of the term still uh, blows up, goes to infinity. And then uh, uh, fi uh, finally, uh, we look at one other example uh, sum uh, geometric series with ratio 1 half. Uh, well, the ratio is smaller than 1, so it converges to. Uh, uh, first term divided by 1 minus r, so 1 half of 1 minus 1 half equals 1, so we know this series converges. If you take the limit n to infinity of the terms, that equals 0. So here we have an example where the terms tend to 0 and the series converges. In the harmonic series, terms tend to 0 and the series diverges. So that's the danger of the test for divergence. If the test terms do not tend to 0, you are happy and you have divergence. If your terms tend to zero, which is often the case, then you don't know what's going on. You can have either convergent or divergent series. So in that case, you'll have to use other tests.